since 1850, the political pressure on the British government started to increase. Different killer diseases added fuel to that pressure. Social pressure due to the great epidemic compelled the government to open a native hospital. At Shialda Market, without holding bazaar, a hospital started functioning. An unexpected daughter was born. That daughter is today's Nilratan Shorkar Medical College and Hospital, Calcutta. 1864, Shialda Market. In 1864, the Calcutta municipality, with the available building near Shialda, in order to supply poultry and vegetables to suburban areas, and for this, planned a market. Similar to the European architecture in 1864, the Shialda market was constructed. The area of Shialda market was 1046 square meters and in that year on emergency basis without holding market, a temporary hospital was started. The then Justice of Peace of Calcutta, now titled the Sheriff of Calcutta, on 1st July of 1867 took possession of the temporary hospital of Shialda Market. Our daughter started functioning as a full-fledged hospital, being known as Shialda Municipal Hospital. There were so many hidden reasons behind the setting up of the hospital, such as cholera, black fever, fever. All these diseases assumed epidemic proportions and endangered the British government socially. Besides these, class discrimination was one of the important causes. At that time, Medical College was the only hospital for providing better medical treatment. Due to class discrimination, to draw a divide even in medical treatment between British and upper class and the poor people, British government gave birth to this hospital. The hospital was set up in a hurry. The Sepoy Mutiny of 1857 played a great role in this. In the Sepoy Mutiny of 1857, because of the lack of proper medical treatment for both of the British and Indian injured soldiers, the British government had to face public agitation. On the other side, from 1850, the British government, in order to rule Bengal, felt the need of teaching in vernacular at medical college. Because of this necessity, in 1852, vernacular classes were started in medical college. In the year 1863, in the medical college, examinations started to be taken in Bengali. After this, insufficient space in medical college, disrespect of the native students in vernacular classes, 
इग्नोरेंस क्लास डिस्क्रिमिनेशन अनविलिंगनेस ऑफ द अपर क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टू सिट विथ नेटिव स्टूडेंट्स इन क्लासेस ड्यू टू ऑल दीज रीजन्स वर्नाक्यूलर क्लासेस ऑफ द मेडिकल कॉलेज वॉज ट्रांसफर्ड ऑन फर्स्ट डिसम्बर एटीन सेवेंटी थ्री टू शियालदा म्यूनिसिपैलिटी हॉस्पिटल इन द ईयर एटीन सेवेंटी थ्री गवर्नमेंट टूक ओवर दिस हॉस्पिटल आफ्टर दैट द शियालदा म्यूनिसिपैल हॉस्पिटल वॉज रिनेम्ड शियालदा मेडिकल स्कूल द फर्स्ट सुपरिंटेंडेंट ऑफ शियालदा मेडिकल स्कूल वॉज डॉक्टर सी टी उडफोर्ड प्रथम बचर प्रथम बचर शियालदा मेडिकल स्कूल वॉज द फर्स्ट वर्नाक्यूलर मेडिकल स्कूल इन इंडिया सम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन वर फ्रेम्ड फॉर दैट मेडिकल स्कूल इन द मैटर ऑफ सिलेक्शन ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट सफिशियंट नॉलेज इज रिक्वायर्ड सेकेंड फ्रॉम एनी सिविल सर्जन of any medical center a certificate of apprenticeship for 6 months had to be acquired for being considered first the medical course was for 3 years only in first year anatomy materica medica practical application in second year anatomy dissection herbs surgery practical application in the hospital and in the third year dissection the whole syllabi of second year and practical application after completion of course diploma certificates licensed medical practitioner were being awarded which is known as LMP in 1874 shialda medical school was again renamed Campbell Medical School In this year on the western wall of Center Hall was written 1874 in Roman letters Our daughter was forced to accept foreign name in place of her native name During this period some books of medical science were published in bengali version these textbooks are a manual of surgery dr kashi chandra dotto handbook of midwifery dr mir asraf ali anatomy dr mohindranath dotto a manual of disease of children dr mir asraf ali ostro chikitsa dr zahiruddin ahmed with the passage of time the importance and demand of the campbell medical school increased in the eyes of the poor people our daughter assumed social responsibilities and started her service to the hospital as a result in the year 1878 in the southeast side of the hospital the infectious ward was constructed during this time dr nilrotan shorkar from campbell medical school passed the lmp examination with distinction in 1881 in the year 1888 on the northern side of the hospital mackenzie ward was constructed in 1971 in place of mackenzie ward un brahmachari building was made in 1888 the campbell medical school saw first girl students being enrolled for the first time During that period classes were being held behind curtains and one senior matron had to be present in the class to provide hostel facilities for girls in 1895 Elliot Hostel was constructed Begum of Murshidabad awarded a grant of rupees 25000 
and Dufferin Charitable Trust also awarded grants. In 1895, academic session was changed from three years to four years. In 1899, further of Bengal forceps, Dr. Kedarnath Dash was associated with Campbell Medical School as a teacher. After this, in the year 1900, at the Fraser Ward, Indo Surgical Unit started functioning. In 1905, on the southern side of the pond, Woodburn Ward was constructed. In the year 1978, in the place of Woodburn Ward, the Centenary Building came into existence. The inventor of drugs for black fever, Sir Upendranath Brahmachari, in 1905 came as a teacher of medicine and took over the responsibilities of Campbell Medical School. In the year 1910, midwifery started to function at Bakerwad. After that, slowly construction of different buildings started to house different departments. Small Lecture Theatre Large Lecture Theatre This is the Department of Forensic and State Medicine. At that period, this building was being used for administrative activities and the principal used to sit here this was the place for Indo dispensary. In that dark age of medical science, that unexpected daughter of subjugated India desired to be a mother, yearning for motherhood. Labor pain increased, became mother. From the womb of the neglected mother, Bengal forceps was born. In 1912, in the native medical school, Dr. Kedarnath Dash invented more developed forceps for giving relief from labor pain, which is famous as Bengal forceps. The measurement of the pelvis of Bengali and Asian women is one seventh to one eighth less than that of the British women. As a result, during delivery, Simpson or traditional forceps, when forced to enter virgin, caused deep injury which increased labor pain, even causing death of the baby and even the mother. End of the procedure, when fetal head delivery is extension, just like this. Shaitan is a thumb taken, a thumb is easy. ডিভারিসিপিংয়েডারনাথ of women and measurement of the head of a baby designed Bengal forceps. This Bengal forceps is lighter and more delicate. Even within the womb, the direction of the baby's head could be changed with the Bengal forceps. As a result, the life of the mother and of her baby is not threatened. In this medical school, from the womb of a neglected mother of subjugated India, an instrument for alleviating of labor pain was born, which is known as Bengal forceps or Das forceps. This is also equally relevant in the era of caesarean deliveries. Up to the year 1912, in the Campbell Medical School, Licensed Medical Practitioner Certificates LMP, were being issued. In the year 1913, the Licensed Medical Practitioner was renamed as Licensed Medical Faculty, which was known as LMF. 
In 1918, Old Nurses Hostel was constructed. Kala Jor Black Fever This black fever had broken out in Europe, Africa, Asia and in British India. It became awful. Village after village was affected and the people fled observing the horror of black fever. Our ma gave birth to her second baby, Yuria Stebaman. Since the year 1915, Dr. Upendranath Brahmachari, in a small room of this Campbell Medical School, started research work to invent a drug for black fever. Up to the year 1921, the medicine used for treatment of black fever were arsenic, mercury, quinine and sodium antimony tratet. No medicine was actually effective in black fever treatment. Even then, Dr. Upendranath Brahmachari did not give up the hope of treating Kalajor with correct medicine. Research work continued. After this, one day in the month of July 1921, in this Campbell Medical School, as research continued, the evening sky was dissolving and the deep night was approaching. Dr. Upendranath from sodium antimony discarded sodium. In place of sodium, Dr. Upendranath to antimony added urea. A compound was prepared. Urea stebamin came into being. For observing the effectiveness of urea stebamin, it was applied on rabbit. Again consulted the text. Then observed the rabbit again. Night was becoming denser. It was 10 o'clock. Restless Dr. Upendranath observed his invention. In 1921, the month of July, one night at 10 p.m., urea stebamin was discovered. Drug of black fever was invented in this native medical school. In a lecture, Dr. Upendranath Brahmachari narrated his experience in the invention of drug for black fever. Whenever I remember that night at Campbell Hospital, I became delightful even now. I found that about 10 o'clock in a little room with a smoky dimly burning lantern that the results of my experiments were up to my expectations. But I did not know then that providence had put into my hands a wondrous thing and that this little thing would save the lives of millions of fellow men. The room where I had to labor for months without a gash point or a water tap and where I had to remain contented with an old kerosene lamp for my work at night. To me, it will ever remain a place of pilgrimage where the first light of Urius Tebamin dawned upon my mind. According to the definition given by modern medical science, Urius Tebamin is nothing but an antibiotic 
which was discovered long before the invention of penicillin. This antibiotic was invented in this native medical school. In the year 1940, here we see the Kalidotto Memorial Hall. This is the student's reunion office. The idea for reunion came from Dr. Omulodhan Mukhopadhyay. Dr. Nilroton Shorkar in the year 1933 became the first president of the Ex-Students Association. This is today's Kalidotto Memorial Hall. In 1944, in Campbell Medical School, Nurses Training School was started. On 1st July of 1948, as a part of post-Second World War developmental activities, the school was upgraded to medical college. Even enriching medical science with two best sons like Das Forceps and Uriah Stebaman to receive degree certificate in place of diploma certificate, our ma had to wait for 75 years. In the first year, with 105 students, Campbell Medical College and Hospital started MBBS classes of five years duration. On 1st May 1948, Dr. Ajit Kumar Dottogupto became the first principal come medical superintendent. In the year 1949, inventor of cholera exotoxin, Dr. Shombhunath De became associated with Campbell Medical College and Hospital. In the year 1950, Calcutta University gave affiliation to Campbell Medical College and Hospital. On 10th August 1950, the Campbell Medical College and Hospital was once more renamed as Nilroton Sharkar Medical College and Hospital, Calcutta. On 22nd October, 1952, the spelling of Shorkar was changed to S-I-R-C-A-R through an amendment. From which class-based point of view this hospital was treated socially that we come to know from an experience of Dr. Shubir Kumar Chatterjee when he joined the college in 1952. <laughs> চাকরি করতাম তখন মেডিকেল কলেজে একটা ইউনিট ছিল তার নাম শিশুনিবা শিশুনিবা এখনো আছে তবে যেখানে ছিল সেখানে আর নেই তো শিশুনিবাসের মতো যেভাবে শিশু শল্য চিকিৎসার ব্যবস্থা ছিল সেরকম একটা জায়গা আমার কাজ করার খুব ইচ্ছে ছিল আমাদের যিনি প্রিন্সিপাল ছিলেন সেই সময় ডক্টর অজিত দত্তগুপ্ত তিনি বলতেন এখানে যারাই কাজ করে তারা পশ্চিম দিকে মুখ করে পূজা করেন অর্থাৎ নীলরতন সরকার থেকে মেডিকেল কলেজে বদলি হতে চান আট হচ্ছে টেলিফোন বাজলো আপনার বেড চাই আপনার জন্যে বেড চাই না আপনার পিয়নের জন্যে বেড চাই আপনার জন্যে চাই না তাহলে আপনি এখানে যাবেন না আচার্য জগদীশ পশুর উল্টো দিকে যে হাসপাতাল আছে সেটা আপনার পক্ষে সুবিধে আর যদি আপনার পিয়নের জন্য চান তাহলে এখানে পাঠিয়ে দেবেন আমি করে দেবো অবজারভিং দ্য ইন্টেন্সিটি অফ কলেরা আওয়ার মাদার কনসেনট্রেটেড অন রিসার্চ ওয়ার্ক ফর কলেরা Dr. Shombhunath De invented cholera exotoxin. The invention of cholera exotoxin is one of the best invention in medical science. In this native hospital, main research work for invention of exotoxin was conducted. The dreadfulness of cholera was such that in the year 1943 in Bengal, 2 lakhs 16,000 people expired. In 1884, Robert Koch discovered the germ of cholera in the Calcutta Medical College, which appears like coma sign, a bent bacteria which is known as coma vacillus. Along with this, Robert Koch guessed when cholera germs enter the body, the released toxin infected the whole body 
Later, Dr. Shombhunath De proved this idea completely wrong. There was another fatally wrong conception persisted for a long period that the poison or toxin in the cholera germs was actually endotoxin which is situated within cholera germs. To the opinion of a medical scientist like Robert Koch, no heed was paid by Dr. Shombhunath De to study the action area of cholera germ in the body. Dr. Shombhunath De discovered the loop system within the primitive environment of this Nilraton Sharkar Medical College and Hospital. This is the loop system of Dr. Shombhunath De, which is simple but points to a new way of research work. At first, the intestine was tied with twine at 4 inch intervals. In this way, loop was designed. After that, a set of cholera germs were washed in saline water. Then, divisions were made through ultrasound and were pushed into the loop. In another loop, cholera germs were directly injected. After 24 hours, Dr. Day noticed that saline washed cholera germs had no effect and the loop wherein cholera germs were directly injected swelled up like balloons. The swelled up loop was cut open and it was noticed that there were deformities. By the result of that research work, Dr. Shombhunath proved the past hypothesis was completely wrong, yet in vogue for 75 years and noticed that the germ or toxin within cholera is exotoxin, not endotoxin. Cholera patients are attacked by exotoxin only. That means cholera germs are imported from outside. Dr. Shombhunath further said that in blood, cells or glands of body, no existence is found of cholera germs. Cholera germs are active only inside the intestine. Physical inability, blind customs and regulations, evil counseling and conspiracy failed to thwart the creativity of our mother. To fulfill the hunger of motherhood, in a childless mother gave birth to the test tube baby. Dr. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay, in the year 1967, joined Nilraton Sharkar Medical College as a lecturer in physiology. On 25th July of 1978, Dr. Robert Edward gave birth of first test tube baby, Lucy Brown. Three months later, on 3rd October 1978, Dr. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay gave birth of second test tube baby, Durga. In case of artificial human reproduction, three discoveries of Dr. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay were first, use of hormone. In the same month, at the same time, more than one over collection and preparing embryo cell and placing in the womb. Second, to use transvaginal approach for obham pickup. Third, the most fundamental achievement was not placing then and there the embryo cell in the womb and keep that embryo cell in refrigeration. These three scientific systems of Dr. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay are being followed today throughout the world. Though this research work was conducted in a private place by Dr. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay, but Dr. Shubhash Mukhopadhyay started the primary research work for the test tube baby in NRS hospital. 
according to the renowned journalist Gaur Kishor Ghosh, before the birth of Durga, Testive baby was born at Inaris Hospital. This conception came from a letter by a woman published in the Ananda Vazar Patrika. The invention from our Ma was continued without let. Dr. Shubir Chatterjee started research work on pediatric surgery at Nilraton Sharkar Medical College which opened a new chapter in India. Jishab Bachchara John Ma hai jade paikhana rasta nahi tade chikitsa na kulle bishir bhagi mara jaye ebong shei shomoy Nilraton e deri kore asto ebong marao jeto oneke she mara jawar pore amra tade sob byabosthe jate bole dissection postmortem kore amra kichu kichu gan lab korechi ar jara bhalo hoye geche tade x-ray kore ba onnonno operation er shomoy সেগুলো ভালো করে পরীক্ষা নিরীক্ষা করে আমরা বোঝবার চেষ্টা করেছি যে কি ধরনের চিকিৎসা করলে সাধারণ পায়খানার রাস্তা হয় এবং বাচ্চা পরবর্তীকালে ঠিক ঠিক পায়খানা করতে পারে এবং তাদের সামনেরও সমস্যা থাকে তাদের পেচ্ছাপের সমস্যা থাকে এবং মেয়েদের জনির সমস্যা থাকে এগুলো যাতে ঠিক ঠিক হয় সেই জন্যে নানা রকম অপারেশন জগতে সর্বত্রই ওই যুগে করা হচ্ছিল কোনটা ঠিক হবে কোনটা হবে না বিচার করার জন্য ইন পেডিয়েট্রিক সার্জারি অ্যানাদার গ্রেট ওয়ার্ক অফ ডক্টর সুবীর চ্যাটার্জি ওয়াজ টু অ্যাটেম্প্ট সেপারেটেড টু সেটস অফ কনজুয়েন্ট টুইনস ইন এনারেস ইট ওয়াজ আনসাকসেসফুল অ্যাট এনারেস হসপিটাল বাট ওয়াজ ফাইনালি সাকসেসফুল অ্যাট সেবা প্রতিষ্ঠান Dr. Shoibal Gupta performed two fundamental works at Nilraton Sharkar Medical College and Hospital, Calcutta. First, natural aortic valve replacement. Valve to the heart muscle, the heart muscle is the part of the heart muscle. The heart muscle is the part of the heart muscle. স্যালভেজ করতে গেলে সব ভাল ঠিক মতো বেরোয় না মানে ড্যামেজ হয়ে যায় কারণ ভীষণ ধৈর্য ছোটো কাঁচি দিয়ে কুচ 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 করে তাকে চার গা দিয়ে কাটতে হয় কাটতে গিয়ে যদি খুঁচ করে একবার ভালভের কাস্পের গায়ে লেগে গেল তাহলে তো নষ্টই হয়ে গেল তো সে আলাদা আলাদা করে আনড্যামেজ করে সেটাকে মাউন্ট করে মাইটাল ভালভের জন্য সেটাকে মাউন্ট করতে হতো এই সব মেথোডোলজিগুলো করে তারপরে প্রিজার্ভেশন করে রেখে দিতাম তারপরে কিছু দিন বাদে আর সাত দিন বাদে আট দিন বাদে দশ দিন বাদে কি দু সপ্তাহ বাদে খুলে দেখতাম যে সাপল আছে কি না অমুক আছে কি না তারপরে দেখলাম ঠিকই আছে তারপরে তাহলে লাগাতে হয় তখন ওই প্রথম ওই ছেলেটিকে লাগাই তারপরে একটি মেয়েকে লাগাই সে ছেলেটার নাম আমার এখনও মনে আছে প্রাণকৃষ্ণ কুণ্ডু খুবই গরিব ঘরের ছেলে প্রাণ মনে প্রাণকৃষ্ণকে বাঁচিয়ে রাখতে প্রাণপণ চেষ্টা করতে হয়েছে প্রায় মানে প্রথম অপারেশন হওয়ার পরে ভালো হয়ে গেল কিন্তু ওই দুটো অপারেশনের পরে আর করা যায়নি তার কারণ হচ্ছে কি যে ওই ডেড বডি খুলে হার্ট বের করে নিচ্ছে লোকে তো কিছু বোঝে না এটা নিয়ে একটা হইচই হওয়াতে আমার অ্যাসিস্টেন্টরা ভয় পেয়ে গেল বলল আর এই সাইজে থাকতে পারবো না সেকেন্ড করোনারি বাইপাস অন দিস পেশেন্ট অ্যাট ফার্স্ট করোনারি বাইপাস সার্জারি ওয়াজ অ্যাটেম্পট ওই যে ক্যাথিরে নিয়েছিলাম তাই দিয়ে ওর এনজিও করলাম বাহ বেশ সুন্দর এনজিও হলো ছবি হলো তারপরে দেখা গেল যে মাল্টিপল করোনারি আর্টারি ব্লক রয়েছে তারপরে আমি ওইকে বাইপাসে নিয়ে ওই ইন্টারনাল মেমোরি আর্টারি ডিসেক্ট আউট করে তার আর্টারি গায়ে লাগিয়ে বাইপাস করলাম ন মাস ছ মাসটা ন মাস পরে ছ মাসের ওপর পরে তাকে রিপিট এনজিও করলাম রিপিট এনজিও করে দেখলাম যে ওই নতুন চ্যানেল দিয়ে পুরো করোনারি আর্টারি সাপ্লাইড হয়ে যাচ্ছে ডক্টর ডিপি বক্সি হ্যাড ডান মেনি নিউ থিংস অ্যাট এনারেস হসপিটাল ইন অর্থোপেডিক্স ওয়ান অফ হিজ রিমার্কেবল ওয়ার্ক ওয়াজ রিপ্লেসমেন্ট অফ দ্য এলবো জয়েন্ট এই 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 দেখুন এই রেক্সলাফিন কেন হলো এইটাকে স্টেম এবং হিউম্যান্স অ্যাজ এ রুটিন রোটেট করবে তাহলে এটা লুজ হবে না এইটা এখন বলছে আমাদের কেটে ঢোকানো হচ্ছে 
I don't have a whole humerus will rotate. That's why loosening uh, bone cement interface will be minimized. A, A. This is the hot tip. Tip is the same as joint. Tip is the same as joint. By the side of medical science, involvement in political and social affairs is also remarkable of this hospital. It is learnt that during British rule, one student of this medical school brought down the British flag and hoisted Indian national flag. Besides, A.B. Ward, Onil Vishash Ward. During his tenure as student, Onil Vishash joined the partition movement. In that movement, he was severely injured at the police firing. After this, on 3rd April 1950, he breathed his last in this world. That unexpected daughter of subjugated India is today's great tree providing shade. Its branches are flourishing. The native school of those bygone days is medical college now. Expectations of thousands of people in this small body never shows any miserliness to fulfill. Whatever may have been disrespect, ignorance and deprivation, she wishes to walk a thousand-year road driven by a creative instinct. Ma. Mother of Jewels, this is the very womb from which sprang the Bengal forceps, urea stebamin, cholera exotoxin, natural aortic valve replacement, replacement of elbow joint, coronary bypass, separated two sets of conjoint twins, the test tube baby. Many creations should emanate from this womb. By giving birth of these babies, she avenged the disrespect and receives mental satisfaction. My ma is dedicated to the good of humanity. Mother of jewels cannot sit idle. Expectation from our ma is manifold. It is hoped that many more such children will be born from that womb.